Hello there guys, this is Jack One Day talking here and today I've got another video for you. So in today's video we are going to be talking about the RTX 3050 Ti. I'm going to go through the specs, the price and the release date. This is all rumoured leaks so don't take it all as confirmed, just take it with a pinch of salt. But from the sources I have, they are highly reliable and tend to be right in most cases. Before I get into the video, can I just say, can you please smash that thumbs up button down below. If you've got any thoughts, comment them down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell notification on as I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I post the latest and greatest news, tips, tricks on games and tech. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, definitely subscribe. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. Specs. The GeForce RTX 3050. I will be a graphics card by NVIDIA that is expected to launch in the near future. It's built on the 8 nanometer process and based on the GA106 graphics processor. It is the GA106 200A1 variant. The graphics card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate. This ensures all modern games will run on this GPU. Additionally, the DirectX 12 Ultimate compatibility guarantees support for hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading and more in upcoming video games. The GA106 graphics processor is a large chip which has a die area of 300mm squared and 13,250 million transistors. Unlike the fully unlocked GeForce RTX 3060, which uses the same GPU, but has all 3,840 shaders enabled, Nvidia has disabled some shading units on the 3050 Ti to reach the product's target shader count. So it features 3,584 shading units, aka CUDA cores. It also has 112 texture mapping units and 64 groups. Also included are 112 tensor cores, which help improve the speed of machine learning applications. The card also has 28 ray tracing acceleration cores. Nvidia has paired 6GB of DDR6 memory for the 3050Ti, which are connected using a 192-bit memory interface. The GPU is operating at a frequency of 1695MHz, which can be boosted up to 1725MHz. Memory is running at 1750MHz, which is 14GB effectively. Being a dual slot card, it can power from one 12-pin power connector, which power draws rated at 150W maximum. Display outputs include one HDMI and three display ports. The RTX 3050 Ti is connected to the rest of the system using a PCI Express 4.0x16 interface. The card measures 242mm in length and 112mm in width and features a dual slot cooling system. This is for the Founders Edition. The third party ones from like MSI, ASUS will be slightly different, so bear that in mind. My recommended gaming resolutions for this GPU would be anything up to 1440p. However, this is heavily dependent on which titles you play. Something like League of Legends will be a breeze. However, Call of Duty and AAA games on the other hand, it will struggle to keep that competitive edge with a high stable frame rate. I suggest playing games at 1080 or 1440p with this GPU for the majority. It's not to say that this GPU can't reach 4K resolutions, it can but it will be highly restricted on the titles you play, the graphics options you choose and which other components you pair this up with and lastly the FPS you'd be happy with. Feel free to pause the video to take a more in depth read of the key features and specs with the screenshot on screen now. Now let's talk about price. It's safe to assume that Nvidia will price the RTX 3050 Ti between 250 and 350 US dollars, making it a pretty decent entry level ray tracing gaming experience. However, I do think this is a little bit too expensive still, considering the price of the 3060, 3060 Ti and the other variants. But who knows, it could be at the lower end of that scale, so 250 US dollars would be great. For those in the UK like myself, that's 190 to 270 pounds. And for those that want it in euros, that's 210 to 300 euros. Release date. 
We can expect to see the NVIDIA RTX 3050 Ti sometime in the first half of 2021. Some say as close as January or February. Stay tuned for more news on the same. NVIDIA are hosting an event on the 2nd of December where they'll be showcasing the 3060 Ti, so we could also expect them to mention the 3050 Ti model too. Stay tuned for more news on this. Make sure to also check out my video on how you can get the best chances on buying one of these or any of the 3000 series cards. I can back these tips and tricks up I mentioned in my previous video as I use them to cop the 3070 myself. In the video I show you the best sort of ways to get your hand on one of the 3070s, however these tricks and tips can be used on any of the 3000 series models. There should be a little pop up on screen now so you can click on that video and check it out after this video. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, then please comment that down in the description. Let me know. Any feedback will be appreciated. Remember to leave a like as well as that helps show your support and boost my video up in the algorithm. Like mentioned at the start, I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so make sure you subscribe and help me reach my goals. Anyway guys, peace.